Hi, I'm Lisa Yen. I'm the LACNET's Director of Program and Outreach and also the Inca Treasurer. Um, and I'm here with Dr. Thor Hathanerson in the beautiful town of Segovia in Spain, where we've just spent the last couple of days um, in an international neuroendocrine cancer alliance. So Dr. Hathanerson, I'd love to hear from you what you're doing here and what you've learned. So yeah, this is, uh... I haven't really not worked with Inca in any capacity before. I've been aware of them for a long time, so it's a wonderful international organization. So I was invited to come here and speak on behalf of uh, NANET on uh, patient participation in clinical research. And uh, it's been, I would say, an exceptionally educational uh, meeting for me because this is not something I do uh, every day. Yeah, it's wonderful to have you as NANIT's president representing and collaborating. So what has that collaboration looked like for you? So uh, we, uh, so at NANIT, we collaborate in a variety of different forms. So we try to keep a close association with uh, patient advocacy groups. Uh, and uh, obviously this is very beneficial for the patient population, for the relatives and uh, things of that nature. So I think it's just very important for the success of the mission of helping patients with neuroendocrine tumors to collaborate uh, as closely as, as we can uh, and as on many fronts as we can. Yeah, collaboration, we like to hear that. What, what might it translate to, Dr. Hap Donison? So I think uh, uh, making connections, talking to people literally, literally from all around the world. Obviously, we're all fighting the same enemy, the neuroendocrine neoplasms, but just hearing different perspectives, how different uh, countries are dealing with this and uh, things of that nature. So more connections are always good. Wow, and especially globally. Globally, it's ab absolutely crucial. It's, uh, like I said, this is uh, neuroendocrine tumors or neuroendocrineoplasms affect uh, all of the world's population and everywhere the incidence is rising. We've seen that in Asia and Europe and the US, so we're all fighting the same problem. Wow, and together, hopefully, we're stronger. So what's your main takeaway from this conference? So the main takeaway from this con uh, this uh, this, uh, this conference is that uh, I'm full of hope that uh, there is an in incredibly uh, strong uh, association of, uh, of uh, patients and advocacy groups uh, all around the world. I think we just need to uh, connect and uh, try to work together more for a common goal. Thank you for, for your collaboration. Thank you for your work to give us hope. And we look forward to seeing what that looks like in the future. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.